hi guys welcome back to my amazing kitchen and if you are new here kindly join the amazing family by subscribing in today's video i'm going to be sharing my simple quick spaghetti stir fry recipe with you it's one of my absolute favorites and i'm sure you are going to love it too let's quickly go over the ingredients I have here some oyster sauce, some soy sauce, sesame oil, plain vinegar, some carrots, bean sprouts, shredded Chinese cabbage, onions, some leftover paprika, some leftover broccoli and some green beans which I have already soaked in hot water. I also have my homemade all-purpose marinade, some hoisin sauce and some plain vinegar. And as always, I'm going to list all the ingredients in the description box below. Before we begin our stir fry, I'm going to marinate my chicken and I have here four chicken thighs which are boneless and to it I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt to one tablespoon of soya powder to it I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil and that's going to be my seasoning for the chicken I'm going to add this to my chicken and make sure that every single chicken thigh is well coated in the suya mix. And when that's done, I'm going to set it aside for it to marinate for as long as I would need to stir fry my spaghetti. Before I begin to stir fry, I'm going to bring to a boil my water with which I'm going to boil the spaghetti and add about two to three tablespoons of oil to my wok and when that's well heated, I'm going to add my onions and begin to fry. When it's fried to my satisfaction, I then add my carrots. And my um, plan for any stir fry I make is to add all the hard vegetables at the beginning. And mind you that stir fry is quick cooking so you want to have everything ready before you start. Now in goes my homemade all-purpose marinade and if you haven't seen that video I'm going to link it down below so you can check that out. In goes our green beans which I have already soaked in hot water so it's going to cook even faster. And whilst that's going, I'm going to check on my water which is now boiling and I'm going to add my spaghetti. I usually like to keep my spaghetti whole but for the sake of my children, I'm going to break it into two so it will be easier for them to eat. And in goes some broccoli which I had left over, so if you don't have broccoli, it will still be fine. Just use whatever is available to you. And then in goes my Chinese cabbage which is already shredded. And if you find that your mixture is becoming too dry, you can add about a tablespoon of oil. And now in goes our spaghetti. And you would want to cook your spaghetti according to the instructions on your packaging. But you have to make sure that you cook it until it's al dente, so it has a little bit of bite to it, it's not really mushy. I'm now going to add all my sauces. I'm adding my hoisin sauce. I've already added the oyster sauce and the soy sauce. And that tablespoon of hoisin sauce in this dish really makes a difference. So if you have it available, please do well to add it. In goes our plain vinegar. And we are going to toss everything around until all the spaghetti is coated with the sauces. Our 
After that, I'm going to add the sesame oil and then my bean sprout. The bean sprout is one of the things that you really add at the very end of the cooking. And then my leftover bell peppers. Toss everything around and turn off your heat because our stir fry is done. I'm going to add some red onion for some color and some crunch, but you can use spring onions if you have that available. And our stir fry is done. We are now going to fry our chicken and then we can start plating. In a dry frying pan, I'm going to add my chicken and I'm going to sear on each side for about four to five minutes. You don't need to add any extra oil because there is already oil in the marinade. And our chicken is done. Just look at how gorgeous and juicy the chicken has become. Ah, and I'm not why it's so cold. <laughs> And it's now time to plate and enjoy this beautiful dish we whipped together. I really hope you are inspired by this video to also throw this down in your own kitchen and enjoy this delicious, beautiful and quick meal. I'm sure your family and friends will appreciate all the love you put in this dish. That's why I always say that cooking should always be fun and exciting. So try to cook each meal with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye.